talk show juggling. A talk show. What are you doing here, Hambug? Hambug, you're not allowed to be here. You're not an approved character. Okay. But what about my corpse? Yeah, well, we'll just go ahead and discard that. Okay, this is for everybody that doesn't know. This is my daughter. Go ahead. Look. Rosa, hi, say hi, hi to the camera. Hi, Rosa. Hi, it's Rosa. She's a very, you know, very sweet little girl. All right, who's doing the camera? Parasol office, get over there. Yes, sir, Mr. Mr. Par Mr. Crackett. I can do that right away. You did a pretty good job last time. Now, I, what I'm doing is I'm going to have a, a what's called a talk show. A talk show is when I'm the host and I uh, I have a couple of jokes I tell at the beginning of the um, show, and then I have. Uh, a couple of There's guests. There's a talk show template that we can create in Rec Room. Yeah, I, I have a couple of guests that come on, and I ask them a little bit about what they're what they're doing with their no. lives. Uh, this is Teradac. Oh. Teradac, you're not a book guest. You could just be a periphery oh. character. This is uh, here in the. I'm gonna have a band. Oh. Teradac is part of the band. Oh. Oh. Okay, Teradac, what's going on with you right now? Okay, it looks like the, the pterodactyl has undergone some kind of paroxysm. No, Dad, remember it? It's, he, oh no. Oh, he doesn't make noise though when he does pterodactyl. When he does pterodactyl with some chibita, he doesn't make noise. He just, remember? Oh crap, he got pterodactyl with some chibita. Okay, unfortunately this is not good for us because he was uh, the band leader of the group of the <coughs> instrumental. I'm going to have a group, oh no. And okay, so I'm got we're, we're gonna have to scratch you. Sorry, pterodactyl. I know you wanted to get your big break on doing this movie, this uh, TV show. Dog, yes. uh, can you uh, can you are you familiar with the bands and in, in, in organizing a band? I'm familiar with that. Are you really? Because I, I mean, I, okay, I need you to find two other band members, uh, preferably someone that plays the drums or someone plays the guitar. And what, what, what instrument do you play, dog? Oh, I play piano, piano okay. and Keyboard. Guitar. Okay, good. Okay. So go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and set you on that task. Actually, I think the parasaur, I mean, the pterodactyl, before he got that disease, he had picked out two individuals already. One of them's Jimmy. Do you know Jimmy? Is this, yeah, and Moksam. And Moksam, yeah. Is this Delilah right here? That is Delilah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm Jimmy. What? Hey, man. Hey, man. I'm Jimmy, man. Where's Moke Sam? Pies, I need to go get Moke Sam real. He's in your office. I'm Moke right, Sam. Moke Sam, you're going to actually, I think I want you to be the band leader because you're more popular and more charismatic than that dog. So you're going to be the new, so you're going to be, I'm going to, here's the format of the show. I come out of the show and I introduce myself to everybody. I say a couple jokes and then I introduce the band and you're going to be the person I talk with. So I'm going to be like, and everybody, here is the nighttime, the Kraken Band, and Mr. Moke, Sam, yay! Da -da -na. Da -da -na. These are my family members. I'm my band. Yo, man, hey, man. And this here, uh, Jimmy, what do you play? I play, I play the drums, man. And people, Moke, Sam, we like to dance, we like to crazy, and we like to swim. All right, good, good, good. All right, so. All right, so you guys have the job. What about the dog? Is he going to be okay as just a guitarist? Yeah, he's going to be okay. Okay, so y'all stay over there and get ready, okay? Because we're going to, Rosa, what are you doing here, Rosa? But, oh, wait, Rosa. Mr. Kraken, the, yes. only, the only way I could participate is if you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and give it to everybody to subscribe. That's fine. You All can right, tell everybody. it's Moke Sam. Moke Sam, Moke Sam, yes. Moke Sam, Moke Sam, Moke Okay. I'm gonna go because I'm. I have. I have to school tomorrow. Okay, Rosa, don't stay up too late. Who's Who's babysitting you tonight? I think it was Mary, but I don't know. She might be on the show. Uh, oh, I need to go away. I want the meatballs. The okay. bacon. The yes, meatballs. This is. Uh, this is. Yeah, the show. yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, our meatballs. Segment, our first segment today is gonna be the two. Okay, calm down. Will you calm down. It's the chef. Why make the meatball in the canoe? I need the zebra. I need the zebra out here. Okay, so the first segment today on the show. Da, 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 da. All right, a zebra, yes. All right, zebra, we don't take cars here. This is a movie, a, a, a TV show. So. Yeah, yeah all, of, all of the zebra, what's up? What are you we doing the canoe? Okay, so everybody, introducing the zebra. Be zebra. Yo, yeah, and the zebra, the Okay, good, good, stop, 
stop, stop. Gonna, okay we're just stop. making the cannolis you gotta make the cannolis it's gotta be a contest everybody who's listening in their viewership uh zebra you can't attack this guy he's your competition oh, you're, you're making cannolis today. so zebra you're gonna make a cannoli and what do you gotta make uh mr uh with mario I make uh, them meatball today. I make them meatball. It's going to be so delicious. Okay, you all have five minutes. Ready, go. Mario just crashed. Okay, he farted. Okay, I hope farting isn't part of the song. No, it's not. I don't fart on the meatball. Uh, what are you doing, Zebra? Make your freaking cannolis. Come on, hurry up. Zebra, he's beating you. <laughs> okay, it's time. Now, I'm going to taste each... each uh, Food item and see which one's the best. The first is Mr. Mario <laughs> with Mario's fine Italian cuisine. He made meatball. Let me taste it. <laughs> ah, pretty good. A little bit spicy though. A little, a little bit spicy. I make my meatball spicy. That's what I do. I make a spicy meatball. All right, and now Zebra. Let's check his a cannoli. This is oh, it's a very flaky, very flaky, and the cream is very rich looking. Oh, very, very good as far as uh, appearance. And uh, the way it looks, I'd say that it's going to be the zebra is going to win there. Now let's taste the flavor. How it tastes. Oh, that is delicious. That is a very good cannoli. And he has another cannoli here for the audience. Let's see it. It's actually dipped in chocolate. It's a chocolate cannoli, and that is to freaking die for. Are you like the zebra meatball? Or do you like the cannoli? Sorry, but the winner. Come on up, zebra. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Where's, where's Milk Sam? Milk Sam's doing the guitar. Da -da -da. Okay. All right. Uh, and now we're going to... Uh, good, good Milk Sam. All right. And that's, that, that's uh, going to be our first segment of the night. Uh, come back with me and we're going to meet our first guest in 10, min 10 seconds after the commercial. Three, two, one. Commercial. Okay. This is behind the scenes. Okay. I need the first guest. Eagle, you're supposed to be here doing the makeup. You're doing the makeup of the first guest. The first guest is going to be a uh, scale uh scale source. Scale source. He's going to be talking about he's in a, he's in, he's a new actor and he's he's going to be trying to uh, further his actor career and then the second guest is going to be Dar. All right. Are you doing the makeup of the scale source? Uh, how does the eagle talk? Yeah. Yes, I'm doing the makeup for the scale source. Okay, scale source. What movie are you in? Are you in a new movie? Yeah, it's called. It's called Finding the Squawks. Okay, everybody, five seconds until the Finding uh, the Squawks until the commercial's over. Four seconds. Okay, get out of the way. Makeup. Three, two, one, go. And I'm back with my first ba, guest today. Ba, 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 my first guest today ba. is Mr. Scalosaurus. Yeah. Get out of the way. Cry a lot. Calm down. You're going crazy. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, we don't, this is a national TV show. You don't use swear words. Come on. Uh, okay. So tell us a little bit. And everybody knows Scalosaurus. Go ahead and, sh and show your face to the camera real close. Real close to the camera. Okay, seal. I don't know why the seal's here. The seal isn't part of this. Who let the seal in? Seal, you're not You're not on the show right now. you got to go back. You can stay. Go, go in the waiting room. Okay, scale of source. Are you going to say anything? Come on. Go, go up to the camera. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start it in three, two, one. Boom. Okay. Okay, he does a little. Yeah, he also sings. But now tell me a little. Scale of source. You recently moved here and you were... Uh, living in kansas is that correct before you lived in the state of kansas yeah and uh and then you moved here and you got recently got married yeah uh, tell me a little about about that so look me in the eyes too uh -huh, very good moksa okay so tell us a little about your your, your new marriage how do you how are you enjoying being a husband i enjoy it I play rec room two hours. She plays rec room four hours. Oh, okay. But so, that's a little bit unfair. Oh, well, maybe you should each get a rec room together. And what is your spouse's name? Delilah. Oh, Delilah. Everybody knows Delilah. Yes, the lovely Delilah. Okay, so t now tell us a little bit about this movie. Ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, here it comes. Ba -ba. The Spider. Uh, spot appearance of the Galima Miss. I am the Galima Miss. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Now Galima Miss, uh, we're here. Everybody knows Galima Miss because he's a co-star in this movie with the Scalosaurus. And 
this show is about two police officers, two dinosaur police officers who are kind of uh, down and out on their luck. They're, 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 they're kind of goofy police officers, and they get uh, somehow embroiled in this really uh, elaborate web of, of crime that involves like uh, a cartel and a kidnapping ring. It's a quite an amazing, an amazing plot, a bunch of twists and turns. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of other good actresses in there. I think Mary the Lamb is in there. Uh, Dar, who's also going to be out there, is, is going to be on there. Ah, yeah, yeah, nice, nice. And there, 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 no fighting on set. Now, Glimmis, we wanted you to stay here, uh, now, Glimmis used to stutter, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't stutter anymore. Yeah, I used to. Okay. I used to, Mom. Okay, but he stopped. Now, let's all give a warm round of applause to the Diplocatist. Yay, Diplocatist. Diplocatist. Why is that? This thing isn't supposed to be here. This this little creature is not part of the show. What is that? Your lunch? Uh, I'm gonna eat that thing. Um, yeah. So tell me, how did you get uh, over your stuttering issue, Glimmis? Well, well, well <laughs> sometimes I still t- t- st- still st- t- stutter. No, I don't stutter anymore. Well, well how? No, I want to know how you got you overcame it. Tell me how. I need information. The people want to know because some people are out there with stuttering problems and they want to know how to overcome them like you did. How, Glimmis? How did you do? You it? you need, need to you need to find some. Some very, very rich drink. Drink it five times a day okay, for ten days straight. By rich, you mean something thick, like eggnog. Yeah. Something like heavy cream, like a milkshake. Yeah. Okay, that sounds delicious. Could you make a milkshake? Yeah, I know how to make a milkshake. So you're telling me the key to cure stuttering is just drinking milkshakes. For ten days straight. Five days... T- Five times a day, ten days straight. Oh, and then, oh, five times a day. And oh, then okay. Probably if you start around eight, eight thirty-nine, like I did. Uh, eight thirty-nine in the morning. Yeah, then you'll probably stop stuttering at around like two thirty. 10 days later. Okay, and let me ask you a question about these milkshakes. Are they a certain flavor? Do they have to be like vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, or could banana milkshake? Or is there any kind of shake? Any kind of uh, flavor milkshake? Any? It has to be blueberry. Oh, blueberry. That's the key. See, now those are important details for our listeners and our viewers. They need to know that because... It's, oh, so is it Now tell me, how do you make the milkshake? Okay, there's a child that's usurped the screen... Uh, we're, we're, I have, I'm here with the Glimmis, and there's a child that's eating a, 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 something out of his nose. I thought it was a plastic dinosaur or a rubber dinosaur. Okay, you see this child here? This child is not an authorized character. He's not allowed on the show. Child, please remove your head from the show. Do not leave me alone, you nasty piece of crap. All right, the next character is... Uh, Dar! Da-da-da! da da and the Dar is here because he is. Uh, go ahead and say hi to the camera. Put your. Hi. Yes, oh, Dar. Oh, Our friend. No. Da- I am Dar. No. How are you? No. Mr. No. Mr. Crack. Yes. Okay. So Dar. <laughs> Dar. <laughs> hello, Dar. <laughs> are you speaking? Mm-hmm. Why are you mumbling? You say hello. I am a. That's how he talks. He's talking in sign language. Okay, don't talk in sign language. Okay, the reason that, that Dar's up here today is because he is a licensed psychotherapist. He has helped many different people. He's oh. helped Pig. You know Pig? He was going through a hard, different, difficult time there for a while. He's helped the narcissistic flamingo. And he's helped Scalosaurus. And he's also helped Galimus. Now, let me ask you a question, Mr. G- Mr. Dar. Yes. Uh, the <clears throat> oh, pig. What was? What is going on there? What, he knocked he just, out. He just knocked out. He he's he's unconscious. Oh my god! Let's get an ambulance here. We need a paramedic. I mean, something just happened. The freaking Five, pig. Three minutes later. Are you okay, Dar? Oh, what? Yeah, it was the pig. The pig ran in here and hit oh, you. I don't know what, what happened. happened. Uh, Are you still I'm, treating I'm the pig? Wait. It's, it was the pig. You wait. were you were here doing an interview. Wait, uh, we were here to, to oh. try to market your, your psychiatry oh. business, your, okay. your psychology oh. business, okay. remember? Okay. And, yes, and then the pig came, and he hit you in the back of the head. 
He okay. ambushed you. Okay. He ambushed you. Okay. Suddenly. Okay. Out of nowhere. Do you know what's going on with the pig? He's one of your patients, right? Yes. You're treating the is. pig? Uh oh. The strange man is here. I was wa- I was in there because I needed to be there. Is he affiliated with this pig, this little black man? Dar? Yes! He oh. he needs to be at my at the psychiatrist sessions. He is my boss. That little man is your boss? Yes. Oh, Lord, I'm sorry. He looks like a little freak, freaky thing. Uh, okay, well, anyway, so uh, give them your phone number in case they want to call up and schedule a psych- psychiatric <laughs> appointment. Give them, go ahead and give your, go, go to the camera and give your, your number a. It's three, three, four, six, four, oh, one, four, five, Zero four. Zero four, yes. Very good. Okay, thank you, Dar. <laughs> Go ahead, Moksin. <laughs> and our next guest <laughs> is Mary the Lamb. Hello, Mary. Go say hi. <laughs> <to you>. <laughs> <laughs> right, calm down, Mary. Um, it's good to have you on the show. Uh, and w- now, uh, if you, we, what were you here to talk about today, Mary? You, uh, I was here to talk about me and my your wool you you're selling you're selling, my, no, you're selling no, wool my, coats my husband wool oh the yes. cow is here too everybody smoke sam <laughs> <laughs> all right well if y'all don't know recently fairly recently uh <laughs> cow and mary got married they have been married and they did have a, ro- a rocky little patch there uh, about a year into their marriage, but now they're very happy together, married. They we, even they even play rec room together. We play rec room together, and I have my own rec room, and he has his own Oculus. We have two Oculuses in the house. That's right, Mary. We have two Oculuses in the house. Very good. And uh, did you want to promote rec room today? Yes, we are here to promote the rec room, Mr. I know, more, I, I know more than you do. Okay. You can make rooms together. Uh, me and Mary made all of the rooms we made together is with me and Mary and already published. <laughs> all right. Now, can you describe like what a person would do and how a person makes a room? So, you have to be on level two. Okay. So after you go in orientation, the box you just grab it, open it up, acquire that watch, uh-huh. and then when you get into your dorm room, uh-huh. you go on your watch menu, go to create, find a room that you like, okay. and then you can name and publish the room by going to this room. But today I'm going to show you <laughs> how to <laughs> make... How to make rooms Very with others. Very interesting. So first thing, okay. you got to go to this room, then go to settings, then okay. go to permissions, go okay. to co-owner, okay. and me and Mary support oh, each other. Oh, that is so sweet. Y'all own it together. And you can make tribute rooms. Like you could make a room for Juice <laughs> World or a room for XXX Tentacion, yes. right? And you could make a tribute for the Kraken show, right? You could do a tribute. Yes. For that. Okay. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to come and tell us that today. And this concludes the first episode of Kraken Unlimited. Go ahead, Moke Sam. And I will see you guys again. Every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday evening. It's the Kraken show. Goodbye for now.